You are not my father. I am not a disgrace. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman! I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman! Let's put a smile on his face. <laughs> Leave him alone. And get off my property. You're trespassing. Oh, is that right? It's okay. I can handle this. Who do you think you're talking to, old man? We're the Jokers! Sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> Kronos. My arm's getting tired. I can't believe I was ever that green. <laughs> this is how you interrogate someone. Very good then, Mr. McGinnis. Welcome to my world. It wasn't just a voice actor that died today. It was Batman himself. But unlike Batman, Kevin Conroy was no urban legend. He was real. He was the legend. He was an exemplary icon in the industry, in cartoons, in DC Comics. Just an all-around icon. He passed away today at the age of 66. It looks like cancer was the cause of death. I had, I did not, I did not know he had cancer specifically, but I do remember him saying that he was struggling with some health issues that caused him to cancel a couple of conventions. This poor dude was still doing conventions though before then for his fans because that's how much he came for his fans. It seems like cancer didn't impede his ability to make his own fans happy. Respectable. I still can't believe he's gone. <laughs> it took me a while to calm down, collect, and hope and pray that it was just a false alarm, a death hoax, if you will. I tend to come off as unfazed, usually, I'm not gonna lie, and somewhat maybe cold to other people, no, towards like notable figures, like for example, Betty White and um, Queen Elizabeth dying. Um, I'm also not really a movie buff or anything like that either, so that's probably also another reason. I try not to be cyn cynical about it either, though. This one ripped my heart out, though, and not just ripped it out, uh, ripped out, into pieces, stomped on, and had a flamethrower on. This man wasn't just part of my childhood. He, throughout when I was growing up, I was playing the games, I was reading comics, huge comic nut. I was six years old, and I feel like I'm six years old again throughout my childhood, staying up night, uh, watching Batman reruns, the animated series, and Batman Beyond at nighttime, especially on Toonami. And every morning before I went to school, it would be on, on Cartoon Network. It, I remember just thinking the show was just so cool and loved his voice. The show was nothing like the other cartoons that everyone was raised up in and on Cartoon Network, so it was very different. How intimidating he came off as Batman and very smooth and suave as Bruce Wayne. Even back then, I thought that was really cool that he would switch voices. I can't tell if I prefer Batman Beyond or the animated series, but I would say Batman Beyond by a margin because there was just something so cool seeing an older Bruce Wayne where Kevin Con Conroy was more of a supporting actor, but he still killed it. 
he had such a great light on the show itself. Um, and it wasn't just because I had a crush on Terry, but that's just neither here or there. Um, even as Batman, he was on screen. Conroy delivered it, and every scene with him was a gem, something that you should never skip because, come on, we loved an older Bruce Wayne. And, um, and I do like how he even changed his voice slightly um, according to the tone of his voice. I mean, ac according to the tone of the show, um, which only shows his range uh, where he doesn't where he doesn't have to like reuse how he did Batman animated series. So it's really impressive. It's interesting look because looking back, I actually enjoy both those shows a lot more in adulthood. I just feel like they've aged incredibly well. The writing and the voice acting, it's a lot better than most shows and most of the animated movies these days. Let's be real, I'm not a fan of most of the new voice actors. There's just maybe one or two um, that are good, but none of them will be Kevin Conroy. He is the bat. Um, but yeah, it's just something about it in adulthood that I really enjoyed. And so it hits even harder than it would be as a child. It, it's my entire childhood and it's put to an end. Of course, there's the Arkham games where in night he especially shined. No matter how you feel about the game, that's where his voice acting really came through. And it had me emotional in some parts, too. I'm um, not going to really spoil it, but, oh, you know. It, it really is a testament on why he's the definitive Dark Knight, though. Not to say that his um, performance in City and Asylum were bad. There were really good moments in City and Asylum, but there was just some, there was like this rawness, this dedication, this passion for the character where you hear it and you say, yes. That is the Dark Knight. That is irreplaceable, eternal. But now the man is gone, but ne never will be forgotten in the decades to come. Wasn't before then, he wasn't now, and he never will be. If anything, his legacy only grew stronger and stronger with the more work he took. He was proud on, in his identity, his loved ones, what he believed in. He was Batman, will always be Batman. Each time I read the graphic novels, regardless of what era they were published in, as you could see, regardless of the year, or how controversial or lukewarm they may be, I personally enjoy all of these. Um, I have like 200 more in the background. I always heard his voice. His voice in the narration, in the, in the speech bubbles. It was just his voice. I could never imagine anyone else's voice. He'll always stick with me regardless of age. It, it, like I said, it just seems to hit a lot harder, but probably because it was him that I grew up with. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy, Bruce Wayne, Batman. No other voice actor will compare, though so they'll continue on with your legacy. I would hope so. Cancer may be the way Kevin died, but his legacy never will. He's in heaven with Adam West and hopefully in a very cozy back cave where he's enjoying unlimited coffee and some more sleep, more than what you can say about Batman in, you know, his universe. My condolences to the family, friends, colleagues. I remember something that Scarecrow said in Arkham Knight how he exemplified the bat perfectly, and now it could be applied to Kevin Conroy. What is it that he said? Hope is the spread wings of a bat shining in the clouds. Thank you, Kevin Conroy. Thank you so much for everything. Even as a 27-year-old, you'll never be forgotten. Your legacy will carry on. You may be departed, but your legacy will always be alive to me, the Batman, and as a person, too, who cared about his fans. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, 
I can take it. I can take anything you throw at me, Bats. You can't beat me. I'm actually going to win. Ready for the next round? Always. What? I'll never let you win. Uh, never. 